What are you doing here? Did something happen to your father? Is he okay? No, my father is just fine. He is getting a bit better. It was a little bit strange what you did, both for me and to everyone in the house. Why did you leave? It's just, how did you find me? I don't understand. Okay, Lorena, calm down. Your address was on your job application. But why did you leave the house? Is it because of the letter? That was more than 15 years ago. And I think that the two of us were pretty close, right? The truth is, I don't know what to tell you. Thank you for your trust and for coming to see me, but you need to go now. No, Lorena, I didn't come to see how you are. I came to ask you to come back to the house because my father's not the only one who misses you. Excuse me. Isabel, mm -hmm. Isabel, thank you. This is so sweet. I don't have any problems at all. <laughs> we should celebrate this moment. I am so very proud of you. And I admire you more every day. Honestly, I'm never going to know how to repay you for this gift. No, it's, it's me who's indebted to you for allowing me to be by your side and to be part of your life. Mm. <sighs> Melina, you are now officially the youngest head of research in the history yes. of this university. <laughs> it's really incredible. Well, not for me. It only takes knowing you a little bit to see that you are a level-headed woman, a fighter, a winner, a professional. <clears throat> yes, yes, it's like Melina is a pile of kindness. <laughs> she generates declarations of love every day. <sighs> I only ask that God allows me to remain by your side for the rest of my life, so that I can applaud every time you are victorious, and so that I can support you whenever you need me. I don't think I can continue being married to a man that I detest because you insist on sticking with a murder plot that we have already failed at three times. Pedro knows what he's doing. If that nurse is gone, I'm sure that he can resolve it. How is he going to resolve it? Will he send us another assassin nurse? And another, and another, and another? The truth? All right, honestly, the truth is I don't know. It's just this is the problem, that you never know anything. Because of that, from now on, I am going to talk to him. I'm going to speak with him. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think he'll accept it. What don't you think he'll accept? Huh. Oh, please, Claudio. The money that helps that miserable man pay his bills came from my pocket. And since I paid him, he will have to do exactly what I order. All right, all right. It will be as you say. We'll go together and speak with Pedro. May I come in? Yes, yes, come in. Excuse my interruption. I didn't know if you were alone or... or with your boyfriend. I've already told you that I live alone. I don't have a boyfriend or anything. Would you like a coffee? That sounds great, really great. And I'm not talking about coffee. I'm talking about you being single, no one barking at you. <gasps> uh, hey, don't get so nervous. I was just kidding. I hope that you don't get like this when it worked because, wow, all of my father's medications will end up on the floor because you're going to come work with us again, right? If only because I am asking the oldest love of your life. Hmm. One of the Marias is named Maria Benita Echeverri. Hmm. She's an electrician. So I'm gonna call her to come and repair something here and that way I can meet her. Oh, perfect. <gasps> you seem silly to your mother. You are mm. very intelligent, hmm? But what bad taste? A female electrician? That's the reason she took all my money. Because it's easier than working for it. All right, but the house doesn't look that bad. But if necessary, I'll go get a bat and I'll break all the lights in the house! No, 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 mother, no, no, it's not necessary. The only thing I need... Mm. <laughs> Come here is for you to go and spend the day at the office and leave me alone with her at the house. No way, sir. 
I really want to see the face of that robber face to face. To see if she has dignity and the decency of... Shh. Mother. Mother. Ah. No. Huh. This has to be managed with a lot of tact. And we both know that you... Obviously, you're not very tactful. Hmm. Mother. Let me manage this, okay? Hmm. Organize the party for the charity once again. Invite the same people. We're going to celebrate the life of Marco Aurelio. Okay, oh, Gertrude. I'm so happy that your husband's well and that we can forget about this horrible time. And this woman is? Uh, you don't know me at all, but I know you, yes. I'm Carmen Ramirez. And honestly, you almost there gave me a heart attack. There have been a lot of people in my house recently and I don't remember. Carmen is a leader of a community where we lent our help pro bono. Mm-hmm. And I learned so much about the law with Marco Aurelio. And I admire him so much and love him a lot. I'm gonna call my daughter and tell her that we're invited again. It's a pleasure, Gertrude. I wouldn't miss your party for anything in the world. What's up, Mother? Virginia, we were invited to the party for the millionaires at the law firm again. And you cannot refuse coming with me. Whatever you say, Carmen. I'm in class. I love you, bye. As I was saying, Professor, I have a problem and I don't know what to do. I just turned 16 and I'm still a virgin. And that's a problem? <laughs> oh my God. What, is the issue that your friends already aren't? Yes, and I am ashamed to say that I still am. Imagine that after waiting so long that my time would come and nothing. <sighs> and the man that would pique my interest didn't appear. I don't have a boyfriend. What do I do? Saving yourself is an intelligent decision and valiant. Hmm? And you have barely started to live. And sexual relationships are never a competition. Virginia, please. Take every stage of your life as it comes. Do you really believe in that theory? A dream, a blah, 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 blah? Virginia, the first time, you're never, never going to forget. And the beauty is to make love. But first, you have to love. Make sure your heart and your brain both agree with you before you go and do anything crazy and lay down with the first silly guy that happens to come stumbling across your path. I'm sorry for my imprudence, Director. Hmm. But it is just that I am a soloist, and in my world we celebrate our triumphs. Like this, with flowers and applause. Malena works very hard to overcome her obstacles. Hmm. I thought that your family would have been happy for this promotion. Uh, my husband doesn't really agree. But, but, please don't worry. It's not going to affect my commitment to the investigation or the classes with the students. And I support her so much. And I am going to talk to my brother so that he doesn't annoy her anymore. Isabel, no, I can manage that. Yes, yes, of course you can. You all can keep working. Um, I suppose you have a lot to do. <laughs> Congratulations, Melina. Thank you. <sighs> Director? Mm-hmm. Mm. This is not the best time for this. Could we go now, please? I need to be alone. We can talk another day, I promise. No, Lorena, no. Did something happen? You seem very nervous. Why do you always have the expectation as if, as if something bad is going to happen? I've been going through a bad time, that's it. That's okay. So then tell me how I can help you. Yes, at best you, I will tell you, you can help me. No, 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 I, at best not. Oh, please get out, I'm begging you. I don't want you in my house, get out now. No, Lorena, something is wrong. What happened? How can I help you? Is that your son? Did something happen to him? I won't leave until I know what happened to your son. His name is Ignacio. And I can't see him, and that has made me desperate. 
He's... He's only five years old, but... He's my baby. And he's alone, and he's sick. But what do you mean, he's alone? He's with an aunt, but he isn't with me. And I can't take care of him because of work. But if I don't work, I can't support him. And if I work, I can't spend time with him. Lorena, please calm down, yeah? I'm going to start looking for a medical specialist to take care of your son. And if you return to the house, we'll look for a babysitter close by. How does that sound? And if you're unable to pay for it, don't worry. I'll pay. My son is better being taken care of by my aunt. Thank you so much for your offer, but I can't accept it. But I cannot accept no as an answer. The door to my house is always open for you. And not only because you're an excellent professional, but also because I know you and I trust you a lot. I hope that you change your mind, or at least you think it over. Right now, you're gonna explain to me the reason that you and that imbecile are such good friends, and why did he come to visit you in my house? Gertrude asked me to help you organize the party for the NGOs. She asked me to make it the same as it was before, including the exact same invites. Yes, I just got finished talking to the party agency. <laughs> Mr. Marco Aurelio is gonna be so excited. We have to tell the nurse that she better not go far away from him. No, Lorena left. Alberto found out about her and she left. I don't understand. When she was 10 years old, Lorena worked with us at the farmhouse in the countryside. And she wrote an intense love letter to Alberto. He remembered and he dismissed her. She couldn't take the shame, so she left. But why on earth would Alberto do that? He should have put that memory behind him without giving it any sort of importance at all. Unless it is important to him. You have feelings for that guy? Why did you let him in my house? Is it because you don't respect me? Alberto came because he wants me to continue helping his father, that's it. I was at the point that I was about to shoot that guy just like his father. I was very close. Because I can tell just by the way that you're looking at that guy, that after I go and kill him, I'm gonna have to kill you too. Give me my son and just forget that we exist! I've told you so many times, Lorena. If you don't do what you have to do, you can forget that you ever had a son at all. The theory that we have at this moment in time, Detective, is that it was the work of the cartel that I wouldn't defend in a recent trial. The assassination attempt was a direct message for all the lawyers in the office that we must defend the cartels hmm. or run the same risk that he did. If that theory is correct, this case is much more dangerous than we had originally believed. I already told Marco Aurelio that. The criminal reach of the cartels is unlimited. They can reach our family so easily. So then what do we do, Claudio? Do we sit here with our arms crossed? In fearful silence? Excuse me, Mr. Corona, I don't mean to annoy you. But in this case, your brother does have a point. <laughs> I told you. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to do anything. That's the attitude. So where do we start? We'll start with the names of the people that you didn't agree to defend. We should start there. And I'll check those against the department's database to look for possible accomplices. Claudio, give me the names, the last names, and the charges for which those drug traffickers were standing trial. Can you do that? Have you really forgotten, Lorena, why it is that you entered that house? You were gonna kill the old man, not make friends or become a lover of that idiot! I'm fed up with you, Guillermo! I am not anybody's lover. Especially not of a murderer. So then you're gonna become one yourself. Because more than ever now that man has to die. So you're gonna go to that house. You're gonna enter. You're gonna find where you hid that gun. And you're gonna shoot him here. And when you kill him, we're gonna look for some place that we can hide out. And because of you now, the first place they're gonna look is here. Look for us? I don't ever want to see you again, Guillermo. 
You are the worst man I've ever known in my entire life. The only thing that I want is to get my son back and get me as far away from here as I can where nobody, especially you, can ever find us. What? <sighs> Tell me where you have my son, Guillermo. Tell me already, where is he? Where are you hiding, Ignacio? Okay, they had told me that the nurse declared her love to you when she was little. How precocious and charming. I can see that Norma has already filled you in on my private life. Oh, now you have a private life? Yes, just the same as you. But yes, it turns out that the nurse taking care of him worked at our house in the country when she was young and had a schoolgirl's crush on me. Are you sure that it was only a little crush? <laughs> I am saying this because when she escaped, you left running to look for her as if you had some kind of arrangement with her. What does that mean? Patricia, are you jealous? Me? <laughs> Alberto, <laughs> Alberto, come on. <laughs> no, it's only that I don't see you running behind some nurse. You're not that type of man. Besides, I'm not able to be jealous because we- Because we're just friends. We are intimate friends. Exactly. <laughs> As they say, friends with benefits. Yes. Exactly the same arrangement you and I have had. That is what we agreed upon. And that is what we are. Unless you don't feel like that anymore. Yeah, I'm still talking that way. I'm not gonna tell you at all how Ignacio felt when he had that really high fever. He had a fever? Tell me where he is. Oh, please, Guillermo. No! But just to show you that I'm not as vulgar as you are, I'm gonna tell you this because she has my entire confidence. And staying with her, he's gonna be better taken care of than with you, and that's why I'm telling you. With her? Who is she? My God, Guillermo, I'm begging you. Who in the world could take better care of a little boy than his own mother? Is it Nilda? Did you take my son to that awful woman you call your mother? Be very careful with what you say about my mother. Guillermo, how did it, how did it come to you to bring my son to a woman whose only interest in life is money? Don't you see she could allow him to die? Mm. You're a moron just like she is. Tell me right now where she lives. <sighs> if I have to end the life of someone, I prefer that I end your life instead of someone innocent. So then tell me where your mother lives so I can find my son, or I swear to you, Guillermo, I will settle this. What, are you gonna kill me? Come on. Go ahead. Kill me then! Go ahead! What's up, Lorena? You aren't gonna kill me? What happened? <laughs> what an idiot. You honestly think that you're gonna scare me? No. And yeah, Ignacio's with his grandma. And she's happy because I'm giving her money every week now, so you don't need to worry. You know that Ignacio's not going to like being there with her because she treats him poorly and yells at him. Oh, please, Guillermo, let me be with my son. No, I'm not gonna go look for anyone until you do what you have to do. Go on now. Go kill your new father-in-law. And then you'll be able to see your son once again. You are an amazing person. Beautiful and special. In addition, you are amazing in the sack. But I don't feel completely capable of, uh, of assuming a relationship. How great. Because I don't either. Can you imagine? <laughs> you and I compromising? No, I can't imagine us even trying to spend the morning together. Holding hands everywhere we go. <laughs> spending Christmases with my family. Vacations with yours. No. I was saying, I love you before we lay down for wow, bed. Wow, I love you. I love you. I don't even say I love you to my own mother. Patricia, our relationship is perfect. 
Let's leave it like that. You and I care for each other, and we have a lot of fun together. We may even devour each other when we're in bed, but that's about it. Let's not ruin that. No, we are not able to lose. Mm. What we have is perfect. I suppose that you know why I am here. You had failed three consecutive times in a job that I had entrusted to you and that had been paid for in advance, correct? I can explain it I to you. I didn't come for explanations. I came because I have the right to receive what I paid for, and that is why from now on, we are going to do this my way. Pedro, the lady wants I don't to need your interpretations, Claudio. The nurse that you had sent to us, the wife of the assassin, has left my house without telling me. I didn't know that. But don't you be worried. I'm going to make sure that the nurse will return to your house and finish her job. Don't worry about it. I now want a solution that is much more drastic and definitive. Claudio already told you that. I'm gonna have another party at my house, am I right? So I want there to be four armed men who enter my house and assassinate my husband in front of everyone. It doesn't matter if they hurt other people on the condition that my husband ends up dead. Am I clear? Hello, I'm Maria Bonita Echeverry, the electrician. Yeah, you're beautiful. Uh, if you're the, the electrician, I meant to say. Uh, come in, it's in here. Are you really gonna leave me here with my hand extended? You shouldn't do that to any woman, whether she's beautiful or not. Uh, ah! <laughs> Are you connected to a live wire? Because you just shocked me. No, I felt it too, but believe me, it wasn't me. Because when I work, I disconnect it all. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh, the electrical problem. Yeah, yeah, it's right this way. Just wait here, please. Detective, a woman just came in asking to see the officer in charge of the Corona case. Thank you. Omar Gonzalez, detective in charge of the Corona case. How can I be of service? I am Augustina, the widow of Lucas, the man they had killed in the hospital. Yes, and why are you here? I have a lot of things to tell you about my husband and the type of work he did. But first, I want some money. Ma'am, the department doesn't pay for that type of information. But the family of Mr. Corona will. Oh, please. You can make it so that they pay me. Some type of, of compensation could be given to the person who gives information about the killers, right? I suppose that we could do something. You help us out, and we'll help you. Do you want coffee? Yes, because what I have to tell you will take some time. You really shouldn't have told Patricia about Lorena. Yes, I do realize that I messed that up. But there's nothing I can do now. Was she really upset? No, but I know her and I know she didn't like it. What I do agree with Patricia about is that you really do have a crush on the nurse. No, Norma. It's just that I have some good memories with her. Her declaration of love was really beautiful. And I did what I did to avoid breaking the heart of a little girl. But that was many years ago. All right, but well, she is a beautiful woman. And you are a man. But she has her life and I have mine. Her life's not easy. Being separated from her son so that she can work while he stays with her aunt, it isn't easy. But she continues to fight in order to, to better herself and conquer the world. Do you realize that when you talk about Lorena, your eyes brighten up, as if no time passed at all? <laughs> Hi, can I help you? 
I am Pedro Lobo. One moment, I'll go get him. Excuse me, boss. There is a detective outside, Omar Gonzalez. Tell him that I'm already busy. You too. Oh, please. Under no circumstances are you to leave here. Shh, shh. I will take care of that guy. Detective! How happy I am to see you here once again. Please tell me that this time you came for something in the store. I came so that you could tell me the truth. What truth are you talking about, Detective? Stop acting like an idiot, Lobo. You and I both know that Lucas was working for you. Here in the antique store? Doesn't it occur to you that you need to show me some respect or do you take me for an idiot? You and I both know that Lucas was one of your assassins that you had hired and that you had sent to kill Marco Aurelio Corona. Calm down, my love. Nothing's going to happen. Pedro knows how to handle these things. They've been questioning him in his shop for some time and haven't arrested him. I shouldn't have come. It was a mistake. What are we going to do if the police decide to come in here? This is a store that sells... <laughs> sells antiques. <laughs> we'll say that we're buying some gift for my brother. That's it. Don't be naive, Claudio. That police officer isn't stupid. Something has brought him to Pedro. And if that man happens to give us away, we're done for. Uh -huh. There's no chance that Pedro will give us away. <sighs> you were just about to say that, Claudio. For some reason, he <sighs> has been able to stay in his work for some time. <sighs> You're going to have to forgive me, detective, for my laughter, but it's just... <laughs> what you're saying is so crazy that I can't believe it. Me? An assassin? <laughs> How could that be? I am simply a businessman who made the mistake of hiring someone who just turned out to be a delinquent. That's all. Augustina, the wife of Lucas, confessed everything. She gave you up. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came to this conclusion with good reason. With what reason? You're going to have to forgive me, detective, but I think that this woman has some very serious mental problems. She came by here, in my store, demanding that I, that I pay her some compensation for the death of her husband. And of course I told her no way, because he is an assassin. He put my store in danger, as well as my family and myself. And since I denied her the money, she surely had made up a whole bunch of things about me, hmm? It really wouldn't surprise me if at any moment in time that woman would ask you for money as well. She did that. She did come by my office recently with the hope that the police or, or the Corona family would give her money in exchange for information. You see? <laughs> I am right. Who knows? What type of stories that woman could possibly make up, huh? It wouldn't surprise me at all if she was a delinquent just like her husband. I have a feeling that you will investigate her because surely she has something to do with this attack. There isn't any problem here. Someone lowered the dimmers and because of that, there hasn't been light in one part of the house. Honestly, this is why you called me here? <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, with electricity, I don't know anything. You might think that I'm tech savvy, but with these sort of things, I'm old school. All right. I raised the dimmers and solved it, so I'm going. Uh, no, no. I feel I must know you from somewhere else. Maybe we go to the same gym or the same parties. Did you go to that party that was thrown by the lawyer, Mr. Corona? Yes. I went with a friend, and I'm sure that you must have seen me there, because I don't go to the clubs, and I almost never go to parties. Especially now, after seeing how they almost killed that poor man. Aha! Uh, so you must be Maria Echeverry, right? Mm-hmm. And by chance, do you have a big bank account? Mom, she's just leaving now. There was nothing wrong with the electricity after all. Thank you, and sorry for the inconvenience. 
That was no problem at all. Thanks so much. See you later. How is it going to be an inconvenience to have a million dollars put in your account? <sighs> I can't find the keys. <sighs> and that? I found a wonderful dress to borrow for the big party that's being thrown by Corona Sotillo. The family's beautiful, and they invited us once again. Marco Aurelio's the best lawyer in the world. Oh no, Carmen, honestly. Those people were so stuck up and boring last time. And I've been thinking about something else. Today at school, all of my friends were talking about having sex. And of course, since I'm the only one that has not been experimenting, I had to sit there. So what, Virginia? Really, all of this again? Put yourself in my shoes. As if the entire world has been saying, ride this roller coaster, it's the best. You're right to the moment in which you, you want to get on. Having sex is not a game that you just play. It's an experience that requires responsibility <sighs> and love. Just because the others are opening their legs by instinct doesn't excuse you doing it too soon. Uh, it annoys me so much you treat me as if I was 12 years old. Ah, ah, here they are. Found them. Virginia, I trust you. And all that I want from you is that when you take the big step of losing your virginity, that you're comfortable with what you're doing. I already dealt with the police. They didn't get anything out of me. But they are nipping at our heels. <sighs> he is really looking at the case, huh? Each time he gets closer. More in my favor, it seems. You have to do what I'm saying to end once and for all this little business between ourselves and you. Very well. That is what you are paying for. Give me the details and I will take care of the rest. During the party, there will be all kinds of people from different foundations. Your goons will be able to enter as if invited, provided that they are well-dressed. And once inside, I will give the signal and they will do the job and they will kill my husband. I keep on thinking that hopefully, the wife of that assassin will kill him so that we can maintain a low profile. You're gonna do what I say and that's that. I want, I want a commando assault on him. And I want them to kill him in front of everyone. And that is what you're gonna give me. Lorena, don't be so stupid. Do you really think that that guy cares at all what happens with Ignacio? It could be important. And very. Hmm? Because if my son isn't well, not only am I going to not do what you're asking me, but I'm also going to rat him out to the police. Oh, yeah? Come on. Come on. Talk with him. You'll be able to find him at the antique shop that's on Main Street downtown. Go on. Go speak with him and tell him your conditions. But know this, Lorena. Afterwards, I don't want you whining. Are we clear? <sighs> Lorena. She's the girl that worked with us for a long time in the house. You don't say. Yeah. She's the girl that had written you that letter and that you had promised yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, Father. I did it so that I wouldn't break her heart because she was a little girl. When I saw her for the first time, I didn't recognize her. But afterwards, Norma had told me and then it seemed nice to try and talk with her, and so I did. And? Is she still in love with you? No. No, Father. Lorena is a very hardworking woman, and she's dedicated to her son. In her life, there's no space for another type of love. I suppose that you have quit your job as a nurse at the Corona household. So what? You have come for your benefits? I came for my son. I know that Guillermo's mother has him. I want my son, and I'm not going to leave here without him, so go get him. In this occasion, I think that you won. Follow me.
What is this? Some type of game? Just a trick? Give me back my son, you monster. Turn on the light so I can see you. Show your face. <laughs> did to you, but what I am going to do to you. If you want, go and ask Augustina. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. Because she is dead now. No, 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 no. This is not welfare, so then get out of here. Ma'am. Oh, please, excuse me. I'm not able to go. Honestly, I need the work. My entire life is dependent on this job. Give me another opportunity. I'm begging you. You're very submissive. This could be so good. But while here, you're not going to do whatever pleases you. Huh. What type of nurse are you who just abandons her patient in the middle of his treatment and avoids her only responsibility? My husband needs all of your care and attention. That is why I hired you. If something bad had happened to my husband during your absence, you would have been put in jail at this moment. You are lucky because of the fact that he likes you. But you best not think of of making another error. You should go up and get him dressed so that he's ready. Tonight, there are a bunch of special people coming. Sounds good, ma'am. As you say. And thank you so much for the opportunity again. This is the life. What a luxury. Oh, just look. There's my friend Patricia. She looks like she's upset, am I right? Oh, no, no, thank you. But don't go drinking anything without telling me. Come on, let's go. How are you, Patricia? Better now that you're here, I needed to talk to someone. What's up? Things with Alberto are really bad. <gasps> no, why? Well... And I thought that this was going to be just another boring party. And you were not wrong about that. Until just now, everything is boring. That's because you still don't know me. I'm Elvis. I've seen you before. At another party, of course. Hello. I am Virginia. Are you here alone? No, I'm with my mother. And yes, I was at the previous party here. I had thought you were an illusion. Come. I can give you a tour of the whole house, show you everything. Upstairs is very pretty. Sure, since there isn't anything fun to do. At least I'm not just a statue in the middle of the room. <laughs> I know that you like Miss Maria Bonita Echeverry, but you are crazy if you think that I am going to allow you to go running around with her, some electrifying swindler. That's exactly what I'm going to do in order to expose her. Over my dead body. What are you up to? Tricking her into giving you information? What if you end up falling in love with her? It's a very stupid strategy. You are, you are a, a man with a heart that is out of control. Ah. So then let's go to the police because the topic of this check is really annoying me. Hmm? Ah. No. My son, you misinterpret me. Ah. If I support you with everything, <laughs> that would be a ridiculous mm. strategy, you see? What is that woman doing here at the party? Or did you forget that at a party just like this was where that woman stole a check from you? You must be the Paulina Trejo. 
Your husband, the judge, couldn't stop talking about you. Such a pleasure. I am the DA, Maria Lourdes Echeverry. The assassin's wife has returned, and surely she's going to ruin everything. I doubt it. If she returned, it was Pedro's order to support the men in their work. Everything is beautiful, Gertrude. Everything is perfect. And what happened with mother-in-law, like usual? It seems that... that Alberto doesn't like that idea very much. And he ended things with me. Ah. Oh. You left because my son remembered that you were the little girl who had promised him her love. Oh my God. It would have been so much worse today. It would have ended up all over social media. Uh -huh. Yes, in part because I was very embarrassed about it. You were only missing your shoes. And also because they had told me that my son was very sick. One thing came after the other. But anyways, he's now with his aunt. Thank you. And so that was what had you so scared? My son is very sick. And I can't spend time with him because I have to work so much to give him a good life. There's nothing else? You can tell me. I trust you fully. You have my life in your hands. Yes? Excuse me. They're waiting for you at the party. Are you ready? <sighs> And to think that it's been four weeks since my uncle suffered an assassination attempt right here in this same house. Yes, I was right here. The thing is that I was so gloomy when I arrived. You can be whatever you want, but not gray. The day I saw you, but you couldn't get close to me with all the shots. Are you joking with me or what? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? I think that you do. I think you do have a boyfriend. Only one you don't know about. When the time comes, you will all strike at the old man Marco Aurelio. These are the three men that are coming with me. And where do you think you are going? To kill the man myself, Marco Aurelio Corona. I have to give the final blow to Marco Aurelio Corona. The police have a composite sketch of you. They are looking for we you. We can wear our masks. They're not going to recognize us. You are here because you know that you have a debt with me because of this job. Allow me to finish it. This job has come to me from the wife of that old lawyer. That crazy woman is getting complicated. I have to expose them due to the errors that you and your woman make. I only need the three of them to cover me. If there are policemen, I'll take care of them. We'll arrive, suppress everyone there, I'll find my objective and kill him. This time there will be no errors, because we already know what we're facing. That imbecile destroyed my family. Allow me to do it for my son. If something goes wrong, it won't be your son alone that will suffer the consequences. You will pay them yourself. Nothing bad is gonna happen, because I'm going in guns blazing at Marco Aurelio Corona. And hopefully, hopefully I can do the same thing with that miserable son of his. No, no, just wait, sir. What is it? You will see it. Listen to me, come on. Help me out, Paco. Come on. There, help me get rid of that. Tell me about yourself. Are you of age? Do you own up to your actions? I just turned 18 years old. And yes, I take control of my life and I do whatever I want to do. What I mean to say is that nobody gives you orders. Nobody is going to complain. If I take your hand, I'm going to show you around the house, OK? I can show you all the guest bedrooms, how comfortable the beds really are. <gasps> the only one who can complain is me, if you don't fulfill my expectations. 
Before the tour, could I steal a kiss from you? <laughs> you wouldn't be stealing because you asked. <laughs> Maybe we should return to the boring party, hmm? Pablo, I know that you don't like these types of parties, but it's a celebration for my father. Yes, I agreed to come here because I respect your father. You know that I hate this house. What's up with you? Why do you now seem like such an old grumpy man and everything annoys you? It's just... It just seems that you're not satisfied with your life at all. No, not with my life. Only with you. And I'm not going to discuss this in front of my son. Like you would. Champ, why don't you go hug your grandpa? He really needs it, hmm? Mommy, if I leave you alone, are you going to fight with my dad? No, my love. Of course I won't. <laughs> Don't you feel ashamed, Milena? That even your own son can tell how poorly you view me as your husband. Oh, Pablo, don't exaggerate. We already talked we about talked this. We talked about this, but we didn't agree on anything. How is it possible that you don't give up going to college? How is it possible that you don't understand that I need a housewife? Pablo, let's go to the library and speak by ourselves. We're going to talk about this when we get home. I'm sick of you, Milena, and this need of yours to be a professional superwoman. How handsome. Any reason in particular? Someone who you're trying to impress tonight? No. Why are you saying that? Because I just finished seeing <laughs> the nurse with what she would call her elegant uniform. <laughs> and who knows, maybe you'll hit the jackpot and she'll start taking care of you even better than she takes care of your father. What's up, Patricia? You don't really think like that. That's not you. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe I am that way, Alberto. Maybe I've always been just a silly girl Maybe the only thing that I've done is make a mess of my life and made the worst decisions. Ah. So then what we have is just a bad decision. Between you and I, things are not how they seem. They should be. And this is just where you and I are. And also, just as you said, why would we go and ruin everything perfect that we have? Yes? <clears throat> oh, hi. Thanks for the drink. I was hoping that I'd be able to see you here. You don't remember or you don't want to remember, hmm? <laughs> You're so beautiful. A dress is amazing on you. They really ought to call you Maria the Beautiful. <laughs> I noticed that your dress is designer. Obviously. It was bought in a store. It has to have some designer, right? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that it must be expensive. You must have bought it for quite a lot. Of course, you have a lot of money. What I mean is that you have enough money to dress well. Uh, no, no, no. I don't understand where your questions are coming from. The only thing I can say is that this dress isn't mine. I borrowed it from a friend. Ah, but it looks great on you, like it's made for you. Uh, I was just about to ask if by chance, the other night while you were at the party, did you find a wallet? Yes. Well, how did you know? I found it and I had given it to the housekeeper. I believe her name was Norma. Don't tell me that it really belonged to you. <laughs> Hmm. Who are you looking for? <gasps> oh, you scared me. Don't sneak up on me like that. It's not my fault you're always so nervous. I just wanted to thank you for returning to the house. My father's really happy. I did it for him. I'm a professional and it was not right of me to leave him like that in the middle of his treatment. So then when he's doing well, are you going to leave? Yes, exactly. Your father might be very happy that I'm taking care of him, but your mother isn't. All right. My mom has her reasons too, you know why. Yes, but I already explained that. My son was sick. Ah, uh, you're your son. And how is he? When are you going to see him? 
If you want, if it's okay, I'd like to accompany you. Your father's waiting for you. He wants you to accompany him on the podium when he gives his speech. L Lorena. Don't tell me that you're having regrets. Nobody's gonna bother us here. Or do you want someone to break the magic and return us to our sad reality? You are very fast, Elvis. We like each other. That's why it's so hard to put on the brakes. I'm afraid that all of the expectations that I have are going to be false. That is something we won't know if we don't take that next step, Virginia. Trust me. Uh, of course. I just got to know you and you're saying to trust you? A guy who locks me in his room and someone who obviously has intentions of sleeping with me? It's like going into this with closed eyes. Virginia, you have to be more modern. Listen, relationships start with making love. And after, they have all of the time in the world to get to know each other and to talk. Do you have protection? One is never prepared for the gifts from the heavens. Were you waiting for this? You like me? A lot. Let me show you how much. to everyone. Will you give me a few minutes? I had an entire speech that I had prepared for you, but in seeing my husband here next to me, alive and radiant, I do realize that the presentations are in excess. Ladies, gentlemen, family, friends, my husband, the Dr. Marco Aurelio Corona. Enjoy every moment as if it's your last, my love. And this is your moment. The oh my god, Marco Aurelio, I thought that I had lost you again, my love. How long will we suffer through this? Just how long? And my brother, Melina. Here I am, Father. I'm right here. Nobody was wounded? No, sir. There are no civilian deaths. Only one of my men was killed during the gunfire. Lorena, please look after my father. It hurts so... It hurts so much. My chest. Yes. It's because of the impact of the bullets on the vest. You don't have any fractured ribs. This vest saved the life of Marco Aurelio. Well done, Paco. It wasn't Paco's idea. It was Lorena's. And once again, you saved my life. Virginia, where on earth are you? Virginia! Oh, Virginia! Calm down, Mother. What happened? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. It was horrible. Three men ran in and 
they had guns and they tried to kill Marco Aurelio. The police arrived and they confronted them. There was shooting, my love, and I thought you were dead. Oh, no. Uh, where is Lucio? 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 Elvis? Elvis? Where is Lucio? My God, where were you just now? This is the end of the world. There were Lucio. assassins again. Oh, where were you? Help me! Help me Was find your death? father! Remember, he has a bad heart. He has a bad heart. Uh, uh, help me! Help me! Father. Help me to find your father! Oh God! Oh my God! Help us! Help us! Please, I'm so scared. What have I done to deserve all this? They shot him two times in the chest, boss. And just when we were about to give him the final one in his head, the police came in shooting everywhere. But we were able to kill one of them, too. Obviously, the police were already at the party. But this time they covered them. And you know what? We got even for what happened to Lucas. But you're sure the old man is dead? The last time I had seen him, he was laying there on the floor with his eyes staring upwards. And one of his bodyguards, too, because he'd been hit by a shot. And your woman? Lorena. What did she do this time? Lorena was with the son of the old man, the great Alberto, and if it wasn't for the police, I would have shot him in his face as well. So then, we don't know for certain that Marco Aurelio is dead. Calm down. By all means, this was a suicide mission. I had said that to her, but no, she still insisted in doing things her way. It doesn't matter. But if the old man is dead or not, you have to cash in on the side. <laughs> well, of course, I am going to cash in. <laughs> and very well. <sighs> I already told you, Alberto, to throw a party like this so close to the first attack on your father was a risk. This is why I came with my men, because I knew something like this could happen. And now you see, I wasn't wrong. Those guys were very well dressed. They seemed like they were invited to the party. Someone on the inside must have invited them. Someone from the family? Or from the office would have certain that they had help from the inside. We'll start with the list of the invitees. Pass it on. I'll be in charge of looking over the names and checking them against the invitations. These guys are going down, Alberto. Because when they kill a policeman, it becomes extremely personal. My father is alive because Lorena came up with the idea to have him put on a bulletproof vest. This is the second time that that woman has saved the life of your father. Either she's a medium or she's a psychic. Because it seems that she knows everything that's gonna happen before it does. But remember I told you, Claudio, that this operation was a suicide and that this isn't how things are done. Who would have thought that the police would show up here? Oh, but of course, but of course. It is obvious that the police were at the party and that they had given him a bulletproof vest just as I would have given him a bulletproof vest, but no! You all wanted to do these things how the lady had decided, and there are consequences. My brother is still alive. If your brother is alive, it is not because of us. It was your people who put that protective vest on him. So then you have to pay us the same price because we are going to do that job your boss had said you to do. Now then, it is you who has a debt with me. The Corona Mansion is very luxurious, but for the second time, there was a gunfight there worse than the most dangerous place in the city. I'm not going back there. So tell me, Virginia, where were you during the gunfire? Because I was very nervous. Alice was showing me around the house. He is a fellow that I met last night. His name is Elvis Trejo Sotillo, and he is a nephew of Marco Aurelio. You don't call him Marco Aurelio. Mm-hmm. And did you see anything else with Elvis besides the house? Oh, don't get started, Carmen. That gentleman is nice, friendly, and he treated me very well. And if it hadn't been for him, I would have been right in the middle of it during the gunshots. Mm. In one way, he saved my life last night. So do I have to worry about what you two did? We didn't do anything, Carmen. Relax. <sighs> Be very careful, Virginia. You are not a dumb girl. Because I've been sincere and open raising you. Brother. What happened to the guys that tried to assassinate Uncle? Did they catch him? Not yet. 
Mm, it must have been pretty scary during the party when those guys started shooting, right? Yeah, everyone there was really scared when they started shooting. Where were you? <sighs> Upstairs, in one of the guest bedrooms, with a girl that I met last night at the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you dog, you. You're telling me that while there was a tragedy, you were having fun because they were stirring up your hormones? Brother, she was beautiful. And what didn't happen in that room? Hmm. But all right, she was scared, and we had heard shots, and I couldn't concentrate. And what were you going to concentrate on? Your marriage? No, 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 no. You're talking crazy, yeah? <laughs> At least I was able to manage to get her number. Any moment, I'll call her. OK, that's good. But just please, when you see each other, no attacks, no gunfire, no nothing. OK, I'm going. Because. <laughs> I'm going to see another one of the Marias. <laughs> Hello? I didn't know that he was sleeping. I came to visit him to know how he's feeling after what happened yesterday. He's already better, more relaxed. And you? How are you feeling working here again? Mm -hmm. I'm only asking you because you returned after you had left without saying anything to anyone. Yes, it's just that Alberto has asked me to. Alberto? <laughs> Alberto. You two are getting so close to each other that you use his first name. I think that this wedding that he promised you years ago will come quickly, no? No. You are mistaken, miss. I'm not interested in Alberto at this moment in time, nor any other man. I have a young son. Mm -hmm. And he is the only man in my life. The fact that I'm not with him right now doesn't mean that... The truth is that between Alberto and I, there will be nothing. If you say so. Although I do recommend that you should say this to him and not me. Because Alberto seems like he wants something else from you. Hello? I'm looking for Maria Balbina Echeverry. I know. You are looking for me because you need me. Don't be scared. I am a psychic, and I know what's happening to you. Serious? You really know everything? Well, of course. Am I not telling you that I'm a psychic? I knew what was going to happen in that house. I was there in the house of Marco Aurelio. And the spirits that accompany me told me everything. Sit down. That's exactly why I came. Because I wanted to know. You wanted to know? Who is it that wants to murder your uncle, am I right? That would be really great to know, but what I really want to know... I'm going to help you. But allow me to connect with the dead. And don't you worry, because they never lie to me. How's the investigation going? Are there any new leads? You're on a good path, Alberto. No matter what we do, we're exposed. This isn't about influence or power because we are already beyond all that. We are dealing with something much more dangerous. The death of your father has become a point of honor for the cartels. The life of a lawyer can have a high price, including a price that's worth more than just money. Everything went wrong once again, why Claudio? How can a man survive so many assassination attempts in his life? Calm down. The entire world is watching us right now. I don't care that they see me. Let them think whatever they want. I am sick of pretending and hiding myself. I want him dead. Do you understand me? I want to see your brother dead. My love, 
It's obvious that the police had already been at the party. It's just like I told you. There was a risk to throwing a party like that. That's why it went bad. No, it went bad because that silly nurse had the brilliant idea of putting a bulletproof vest on your stupid brother. On the contrary, Marco Aurelio would be three meters below the earth with two bullets in that his chest. That is impossible, Gertrude. That woman works for Pedro. She's the wife of an assassin. She wants to see him dead just as much as we well, do. Well, it doesn't seem so. She had the opportunity to end his life and still hasn't done it. Not counting the two times she saved his life. Gertrude, my love, you will be a widow within a few days, I assure you of that. But for right now, calm down, or you'll give yourself away. Me? Never. Never, Claudio. You be careful of revealing yourself and carrying the guilt of all these errors so easily. Thank you for your suggestion, miss. But Alberto and I don't have anything now, and we never really did. As I told you, you shouldn't be saying this to me. You should say it to him. <sighs> All right. It would be better if I go. I don't want to wake up Marco Aurelio. Bye, Lorena. It makes me very happy that you've returned to work for the Corona family. Is it true that the old man's still living? I told you not to call me here, Guillermo. Kill him now, Lorena. Take out the pistol and kill him once and for all. We're waiting for you here. Kill him and then come back and I'll give you your son back. Stop, stop, Guillermo. Don't pressure me anymore. Do you really want to lose your only son forever? <clears throat> oh, it's you. Your father's sleeping. Yes, I can see that. And how is he? How does he feel? Better. He was very agitated, so I gave him some muscle relaxers. Lorena, I wanted to thank you. Because if it hadn't been for you, at this moment we would be at his funeral. I'm going to thank you for the rest of my life. You don't have anything to thank me for. How could I not thank you? It was your idea to put on that vest, and thanks to you, my father's alive. And I never would have thought of doing something like that, even though they tried to kill him a few times. That's why I did it. Since you are here with your dad, I'm going to step out for a moment. Excuse Lorena, me. are you still avoiding me? Why doesn't your woman finish the job once and for I'm all? I'm telling you, Lorena's not gonna kill him. Lorena's not an assassin. I've never before spent so much time trying to finish someone. Three, three attempts and nothing. But yes, what we need is to take drastic measures. I will take them. The police have him in custody. On top of that, there's a bodyguard with him at all times. The only way we can finish him is... Your woman! She doesn't want her son! Anyone else would have finished the job by now. But... What Lorena needs right now is a real incentive to understand that if she doesn't kill Marco Aurelio, her son is dead. And I'm going to give her that. Pablo's really changed a lot, Isabel. Recently, 
He's saying that I neglect him. That I don't pay attention to my family. He... He wants me to renounce everything and dedicate myself to him completely, to take care of our home. He wants me to quit my job. And how can he ask that of you? Has he gone crazy? Melina, Pablo knows you as a woman who is professional, independent. He can't all of a sudden cut your wings just because things for him aren't going too well. <sighs> I don't know what's happening with my marriage, but I'm so afraid, Isabel. Pablo has turned into another man. Violent. Malena, listen to me. You should not change your life for the desires of any man at all. You are a phenomenal woman. And if Pablo cannot manage that, that is his problem. If he loses you, it will be the biggest mistake of his life. Because there is no other woman like you. What did you do at my uncle's house? What were you doing there? One of the NGOs that helps Marco Aurelio had sent me an invitation. Uh, but now concentrate. Uh, that is to say, you were also at the first party, correct? Yes. But I need you to relax and clear everything from your mind. But it's just that I don't know how to do that. Do I just think of the color white? On a glass of milk? Like a cloud, or like a check that's blank. Can you really figure out everything I'm thinking? I'm not divine. I only communicate with the spirits that are in other dimensions, and they tell me what you should listen to. Ah. Uh. They are telling me that you came here for another reason, not to find out about your uncle. Tell me, what brought you to my house? No, honestly. I came because... Because... I want to get to know you. I want to get closer to... Maria Balbina Echeverry. I have a problem with a check that I misplaced. Could it be that you, with your light and... beauty... You could help me recover it? <laughs> Hello, Elvis. It's Virginia. How are you? Ah, I was just about to call you. Have you gotten over the scare? Yes. <sighs> the gunfight was just so crazy. How is your family doing? All right, well, there's still the problem of not knowing who it was that wants to kill my uncle Marco Aurelio. They interrupted us at the best part, no? We should try it again, right? Yes, of course. Whatever you want. Could it be in the afternoon? Because I have classes at the university. Yeah, me too. What do you study? I study social work, and you? I'm in law. Close to the university is a cafe that I like a lot. I'll send you the address with the text message and the time. Did you like what happened last night? Yes, it was great. I will see you this afternoon. Bye. What's that face? Are you talking with Elvis? How do you feel, love? <sighs> Just a little hurt. Mm. But that is not what is worrying me. And what is worrying you then? The feeling that somebody wants me dead. <sighs> and that my days are somehow numbered. I'm thinking the best thing would be to leave the country. Just until... This can all clear up. That seems like a great idea, my love. You just say yes, and I will take you out of the country. And when you feel better, then you can travel. No, oh, my love. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve to be left alone because the cartels were doing this to me. Could try to attack you instead. They could get Alberto, Malena, or Claudia. It's not fair that I run away and leave you all alone. Hmm? Honey, just while I am alive, 
nothing is going to happen to you because I'm going to take care of you and protect you with my life if it's necessary. Hmm? Hmm. Why are you so alone? Did something happen? Nothing. I was thinking about everything that happened yesterday, but I should go. Lorena, why is it that you try to avoid me whenever you see me? Every time I show up, you leave. If it's because of the letter you wrote me, that was a long time ago. I enjoyed it, but... Yeah, we should just move on. No, that's not why I'm like this. It's better that I get going now. Lorena, why are you acting so nervous? Did something happen to your son? <sighs> Alberto. Yes. He's still sick and that... I'm not able to do anything to be with him to be able to help him. I feel like my hands are tied. I'm desperate. All right, so then let me help you. I can take you to him. Please. I honestly want to help you. No, no, understand that I can't do anything, that I'm not going. I'm trapped here. My son cannot be with me. Lorena, so tell me, what is happening to you? You can trust me. Have faith that we're going to solve this together. Lorena, you and I have known each other for a long time, right? We're friends. I'm offering you my help here. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Although you want to, you cannot help me. Well, why don't you let me try? No, it's not anything crazy. It's only that my son needs me, but I need to work and I really can't have him here with me. But I know that he's with my aunt and and she's not going to let him die. All right, but if that's what's scaring you, we can go see him and bring him back with you. Lorena, the only thing that I want is that you calm down. Everything in life has a solution. Alberto, will you please? Don't ask me anything else about what's going on. Just stay out of my problems and stop trying to interfere with my life. I only wanted to help you. Just understand this. Nobody is able to help me. I am never going to be able to understand my brother. He is crazy to risk losing a woman like you. But I also understand you, Malena. I know that in a relationship, there shouldn't be a fear. He is not your boss. He is supposed to be your other half. It was like that, but it's changed so much. He's become distant, threatening. I know that you're going to make the right decision, but if you don't want to negatively affect your career, don't tell him anything about your promotion. He won't understand. Uh, I thought that was an option. Nevertheless, I don't think that a lie ever solves anything. And if he takes this as defiance, then it is better that you play dumb and continue with your job, demonstrate to him that you love him, and he will forget his insecurities. That is the other problem, Isabel. I don't know if Pablo loves me. The check was lost at a party at my uncle Marco Aurelio's house. It was in my mother's wallet and... Uh. You are going to call me crazy. But it's just, it's that, no, no, I can't manage to understand what my spirits are telling me. C <laughs> could it be that you're giving me interference? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the check, Maria Balbina. Do you really not know where the check is? Uh, it's the first time that this has happened with a man. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. It's just that I'm not able to concentrate. I have my heartbeat racing right now. <laughs> Talk to me about the check, please. 
Just the check. The check. You know what? You should be using a tarot card because I think that you and I, we knew each other in a past life. Uh, 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 <laughs> it really has been a very fun and very interesting conversation with you today. But I, I didn't see the time and it's late and I have to go, I have to get going. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to meet you. For me? No, for the woman with the face that I like so much. Of course this is for you. Uh, I love a boyfriend that gives me flowers. Yeah, I'm also happy to see you. <laughs> uh, we should sit down. Yes. <clears throat> we have a lot of things to talk about. As to say, we already started in your way. Now we are going to start things a little bit more classically, so that we can know each other better. <laughs> what you want to ask, Ben, is if we are going to finish what we started yesterday. All right, yes. That as well. <laughs> And where are we gonna hide when Lorena kills the old man? Because they're gonna discover her immediately. And that guy, Alberto, the son of the old man? Well, he already knows where we live. The son of the old man knows where we live? So then, we cannot stay here any longer. We have to find another place immediately where we can hide out and be very careful with getting rid of the woman because that isn't convenient for That's us That's not going to happen! Because first I'm going to kill that old man and later I'm going to kill her! There's no woman that's going to betray me! Mother, I just finished seeing another one of the Marias and what happened? I just can't do this, son of my soul. Uh, uh, I think, I think this is the last day of my life. Because when your father sees this paper, he's going to kill me. He's going to cover me in cheap gasoline and he's going to set me on fire. Why, mother? What does the paper say? This is the bank statement. The bank statement that shows the withdrawal of millions of dollars, millions. Uh, uh, calm down, mother. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Oh. Calm down. I'm so close to discovering which of the Maria Echeveres robbed us. Of course, I think I've already found her. She's a woman who supposedly can talk to the dead, but when I mentioned the check to her, she wasn't able to talk anymore. I'm sure that it was her. And let the angels say amen. I need back in my account once again all of the zeros that have been stolen from me by that hustler. What is it, Paulina? It has been quite a few days since you are not as energetic as you have been. You seem very quiet. What's going on? Uh-huh. Let's see. <laughs> 